modern rocket. Mm -hmm. uh, we're taking a 35 pound payload with a hybrid engine to hopefully 100,000 feet up in uh, White Sands, New Mexico, the missile range there. But what's, what's really exciting about this is that only a few schools over the entirety of the United States get to participate in this program. And over the course of the program, I think it's been about five years or so, mm -hmm. they have not had one successful flight. Not one. That's how difficult this thing we're doing is. Because if you can look up here, all we have is we have a ton, we have to design our own engine, our own pressure vessel, fuel grain, nozzle, body. Everything we do is us. It's our machining, our work, our design. The, the huge rockets that are going up, when you first look at them, it seems like something someone drew, someone thought of, right? But then you get into it and it's all just math. And it is absolutely so overwhelming. Much <laughs> so much math. We have about 25 books out there that are filled with nothing but equations and just how to use them, when to use them, what to use them for. I'd say that was that was actually a really big thing and a really cool thing for me was seeing how through math you can actually design and build and create that, right? And so none of this is just kind of guessing or anything like that. It's all extremely precise, extremely calculated, extremely thought through. And so even when you look out and you'll see graphs and charts and uh, 3D models, it's all simply just math. I think that's a really, really cool thing that you get to see through behind the scenes of doing this and doing it yourself. And I always love math and science and stuff, but I just thought I was going to kind of be a, a lawyer who liked math. That was always my plan. And then I had this really cool chemistry teacher named Mr. Hobbs. And he kind of got me started. He would just show us videos of rockets before class. I had Mr. Hobbs as my chemistry teacher also my sophomore year, and I always saw on the whiteboard the different um, assignments of, you know, what was going on in Rockets 1 and Rockets 2, and I was like, oh my god. From seeing that and being around that and seeing the older kids come in, how much they worked on Rockets and loved it, and it was, it always blew my mind how they were always working on such difficult things, but it always seemed like so much fun. You know, I know she knows what I'm talking so about. Cool. From there, I just had conversations with Mr. Hobbs. And we both kind of shared a love for uh, the SR-71 Blackbird and the X-15 rocket plane. And the, uh, we both have read the same book about the Skunk Works. And it was just like this really awesome thing. And I said, you know what, I'm going to take rock. And so it's really cool to actually think about the fact that these high school kids, and I think I speak for all of us when we say we have no idea what we're doing <laughs> at 18 years old in anything, are given the ability to go through design and build a functional rocket that can possibly, you know, break records. And through Rockets 1, we, you know, our class broke the school record and we just did this amazing thing and it was so much fun that it, it completely, you know, set my mind on what I wanted to do.